Hello folks, so this is the continuation of previous video titled sentiment analysis using web app part 1 of LSTM model code. There I first loaded the important Keras libraries as well as IMDB dataset using load data method. Okay, and we also inspected a sample review which was in a sequence of number form and later on I showed how to revert the review from sequence of numbers to original text if the need be. In this video, I'm going to proceed further by padding and truncating the reviews to make all of them sim of similar length. After that, I will be uh, you know, building our LSTM model by adding different neural network layers like embedding layer, dropout layer, LSTM layer, dense layer, etc. And we'll uh, going to show uh, the output of trained model as well. Now finally, we will be taking a look at the accuracy of the model. So please watch this video till the end to get the complete understanding. Folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all of your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build AI-based products and applications. So if you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel. Or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century. So let's open the Jupyter Notebook on the Google Colab first. So in the first cell, I'm checking the maximum review length here, okay? Uh, and I'm checking the maximum re review length by making use of a built-in function called max, okay? And please note that I'm adding uh, reviews of both xtrain and xtest. And then using this len method, okay, uh, or function to find out the length, combined length of it. And in the next cell here, I am doing the same similar exercise to find out the minimum review length. Only difference is that I am using function called min here instead of max Okay, to find that out. Now the reason I uh, tried finding out the review length uh, is that uh, in order to feed this data into our uh, LSTM neural network, all the input documents or reviews must have the same length and hence we can set the maximum review uh, length to some desired value okay and we generally limit the maximum review length to maximum words by truncating uh, longer reviews and padding the shorter reviews with a null value we can accomplish this task using the uh, pad underscore sequences function in keras so in the next cell, um, I'm setting the max review length to 500 here, okay? Here, so I'm setting uh, the maximum review length to 500 in the first line, okay? And padding both training and test sets to maximum review length here, okay? So in the next cell, I'm uh, building our LSTM model, our LSTM neural net mo model. Uh, here our input is a sequence of words of maximum length equals to max review length and our output is a, a binary uh, sentiment uh, you know in the form of 0 or 1. Now first I defined the embedding vector length as 32 here okay which is a kind of uh, you know which is kind of treated as the embedding dimension and which I'm going to provide as an argument to the embedding layer. Please note that there are two ways of building a Keras model. Uh, one is sequential and another one is functional. I'm refraining myself to discuss about the difference between the two here. Maybe later on I will create a video to cover the same. Okay. Now here I defined a sequential API of Keras. Okay. In the next line you can see. Uh, to create the model layer by layer okay and next I added uh, an embedding layer in which I passed three arguments namely top words 
okay which is equals to 5000 and you, if you scroll above in this Jupyter notebook you will see we have defined it above and in fact I covered that in the first part of the video all right um, and this uh, top words is nothing but uh, it, it is our uh, you know vocabulary size okay secondly we have embedding vector length uh, with as an embedding dimension and it has the value 32 here okay and the third our uh, uh, third argument is input length where I'm providing uh, this input length where I'm providing the max review length which is 500 okay um, if you want to know more about word embeddings then you can watch the three video series in the NLP playlist the link is given in the I button above okay so next I'm adding dropout layer here okay to generalize the performance of our model uh, dropout in fact is a technique which is used to prevent a model from overfitting okay and dropout works by randomly setting the outgoing edges of neuron in uh, neurons in hidden layers to zero at each update of the training phase or epoch here by passing the value as 0 0.2 every hidden unit or uh, neuron is set to 0 with a probability of 0 0.2 that is there is a 20% chance that the output of a given neuron will be forced to 0 I am adding the dropout layer twice here one after this embedding layer and another uh, time at uh, another one at uh, after in fact LSTM uh, layer in order to make our model more generalized and less prone to overfitting next layer I am adding here is a deep network LSTM layer okay which is a long short term memory layer which takes the sequence of embedding vectors as inputs from above okay and uh, converts them to the compressed representation the compressed representation uh, effectively captures all the information in the sequence of words in the text and the last layer I added was a dense layer here okay which is fully connected layer that takes the deep representation form uh, deep representations from the LSTM as input and transforms it into the final output classes or class scores now this dense layer has two arguments or parameters first one depicts this first one is one which depicts the output size of the layer uh, which is one because we would either get classification as zero depicting negative sentiment or one depicting uh, positive sentiment and the second argument is activation function okay uh, which is uh, which is defined as sig sigmoid here I have created a separate video on activation function as well so you can click on the i button above to know more about it okay next I compiled our model by uh, specifying the loss function and optimizer we want to use while uh, training the model as well as any evaluation matrix uh, we would like to measure here the loss function is defined as binary cross entropy okay as you can see here and optimizer as Adam okay and the matrix we are trying to get is accuracy okay and I have created a separate video on loss function as well so you can again click on I button above um, to get more details then I printed uh, the model summary output of which you can see here down here in fact okay you can see you have uh, the layer okay layers output shape and param okay so you can see all all that information uh, here you can also see the epoch information here so, so after each epoch what was the value loss and what was the value accuracy after each epoch okay lastly I fitted the model okay as you can see here I fitted the model in order to train it uh, and as an argument I provided the data on which I need to train the model 
the number of epochs which is 30 uh, okay to train the model uh, and lastly the batch size which I kept as 64 and in the last cell and when I in fact ran the cell you can see that model got trained and all the epochs all the 30 epochs got completed here okay so you can see 30 out of 30 and you can see the value loss value accuracy etc and in the last cell I calculated the accuracy associated with this model and you can see that uh, it came as 85.70 not bad but you can improve more upon it if you do some you know hyper parameter tuning on this particular neural network model I will create a separate video on how to do hyperparameter tuning in the coming days. So folks this is it for this video. To conclude I continued showing you the remaining LSTM code and explained the usage of padding, the reviews as well as built and trained out uh, LSTM neural network model explaining each of the layers and lastly calculated the accuracy of the model. I will be covering the remaining LSTM Python code in the third and the last video in order to develop the backend of our uh, web app which is our LSTM model. So folks uh, let me ask you a question from uh, this video. Why is it necessary to pad some of the reviews uh, you know with null values before we insert it as an input to our model or provide it as an uh, input to our model. Please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also ask your technical questions in the comment section. I will be glad to answer your questions. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.